Hello everybody, I'm back. Daily Destiny number 19. Um, I was in LA yesterday and that's why yesterday's was pre-recorded, but I'm back and I got my hands on Dragon Age Inquisition and I'll talk a little bit about my impressions of that game actually today and I'll have a lot more stories actually about my trip to LA and what that was like uh, and the other YouTubers that I met out there and uh, some names you might actually recognize. Um, but first, I don't ask a lot of you guys watching these videos, but uh, please check out my Dragon Age Inquisition videos. Uh, there'll be a link in the description just to the playlist, and it really means a lot to me if you guys check those out. Just watch them all, give them likes, give them comments. Um, it was an incredibly unique opportunity that I had to go out there, and I want to show EA that I am worthy of their time and money to fly me out to these events. Um, if these videos for Dragon Age that I post don't get a lot of views, then I'm not gonna get invited to the next thing and have, and like, I mean, it's it's an insane amount of fun what I get to do, but I wanna do more of it, I'm, I'm hooked. And, uh, you know, you guys can help me a lot in that process. So give those, you know, YouTube actually pays attention to how much time you watch of the video. So watching five seconds and liking doesn't really help very much. So sit back, I'm, I'm putting a lot of energy into editing them and hopefully getting you guys excited for Dragon Age Inquisition. I really liked it. Um, so anyway, please check those out. It really means a lot to me. Um, so uh, the Iron Banner is back up or is back up, is here now. And what the Iron Banner is, it's a new merchant and uh, new emblems and hunter stuff and uh, one legendary weapon. Doesn't really seem worth it getting to Iron Banner rank three, but it's also, uh, it's also unlocked this Iron Banner playlist for multiplayer for the Crucible that uh, negates weapon no no it doesn't negate weapon damage it uh improves weapon damage basically so using my crappy rare auto rifle will not be nearly as good as using my hard light auto rifle which if i had some uh helium i would fully upgrade right now just to get the extra damage for this uh, special iron banner playlist so basically the iron banner i don't know how long it's oh no i, I can find out exactly how long it's going to be up i was just looking at it they had a nice little uh banner for this so it's up for one week october 4th or 7th through the 14th so i'm gonna spend a lot of time in the crucible over the next week um trying to figure out what if this is actually worth it so i'm gonna read through the thing on their website while this is loading up the first well i'm gonna close off with the iron banner playlist oh look at this so wait what's is this like a daily iron banner challenge I'm not sure. Well, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, the weekly reset happened too, so I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, so let's do the daily story mission first. This is gonna be a long video. Um, so yeah, so I'll just read through what they say. Equip your most powerful gear. The attack and defense ratings of your weapons and your armor will be crucial to victory. So the level balancing stuff isn't there anymore. Um, rank one, unlocks iron banner emblems and shaders. And emblems and shaders each provide 10% boost to Iron Banner reputation gains, stacking. Um, and then rank two, you unlock Iron Banner class items like the armor. And class items provide 10% boost to Iron Banner reputation gains as well. So you can get a 30% boost to total Iron Banner reputation. I'm curious if with that, um, you earn like just, well, I guess a 30% boost really isn't that much, but I guess a 30% boost combined with the weekly Nightfall Strike boost, I think that's like a 25% boost. I could be wrong, but that's a lot of boost. That's almost a 50% boost if it is a 25% boost. So I wonder if like doing that, you can just like crank through Iron Banner ranks. Maybe get to like, you know, just get to the point where you're earning ranks really quickly. Because every time you go up in a rank, you get a special package uh, from the Postmaster, a special gift for going up in rank, which usually has legendary items in it. Cannot summon in this location. Why can I not summon in this location? Oh, is this the first mission where I where I don't have my my vehicle yet? Dang it! Uh, all right, so uh, I went to LA for 24 hours. It was a ridiculously quick trip, and basically going to any place for that long, you don't really see the city <laughs> at all, which is fine with me because I think LA is a gross, disgusting place that's very expensive and full of douches and overpriced and i just i have never had a good time in la i mean i'm glad i went like the only time i've been to la is for e3 
which is like downtown LA. And then this was kind of near uh, Santa Monica, um, like closer to the water, which is a little bit cleaner, but it's like I went, to, <laughs> I landed at like nine o'clock and uh, basically just fell asleep and then went to the offices, stared at a computer screen. Like it could have been any city in the world. It didn't even matter that it was in LA. Um, I met a couple other YouTubers there and it's crazy. Well, I guess the most notable YouTuber that I met there was uh, Kutra was also at this event who also lives in Denver, interestingly enough. Um, and he was like on a three stage trip or like a four stage trip, something like that, like from flying city to city to city and hadn't been home in a long time. And he just seemed completely burned out. Um, and one of the other channels uh, that I talked to a bit there, I mean, there was, about, I think there's about 10 YouTube channels that got invited out to this thing. And uh, about half of them, it didn't seem like English was their first language. Um, and uh, the other guys were all Native Americans. Well, not Native Americans, clearly, but Native English speakers, I should say. Um, so I didn't, it was really hard to communicate with some of the guys that didn't speak English very well. And I actually have a really good story about these dudes that I think were from Germany. Um, <laughs> uh, but I also met, uh, I keep wanting him to call him Randy Savage, which is the name that his channel is parodied off of, but, it, but it's not Randy Savage, but the first two letters are mixed up and it's hard for me to do this name math in my head while I'm playing the game. What the fuck was it? Sandy Ravage. That was the name of his channel. Uh, he was a Call of Duty uh, channel, mainly, which is what gets flown at, like, every event that I've been to, like, a lot of the other channels have been channels that focus on Call of Duty that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube. Um, and it's these games that want some coverage that just aren't getting it from other channels. And every time I've talked to one of these Call of Duty channels, they, they always say, uh, oh man, anytime I post games for anything other than Call of Duty, my subscribers just get all fucking pissy and ask, why am I posting this? Like, why, why are you wasting my time with this? Unsubscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that fucking sucks, which made me realize how great it is to have you guys as subscribers who are always interested in what the new game is and talking to uh sandy rabbit who is like that's really fucking smart because like i always you know i make guides and i make tips and i make tricks so you guys kind of expect oh you know to see the newest things and that's that's great um and so i, I had a greater appreciation for you guys as subscribers after uh after that trip uh, so, at the event, we get there at about, I don't know, we actually get into the office after having breakfast and all that at maybe 10 o'clock, uh, play for a couple hours. I mean, it's a very straightforward thing, like you, everybody is at the same hotel, we all take a cab together to the EA office, they, they check us in, they get us guest passes, uh, get a little bit of coffee, and then just, they say, okay, here's the game, record what you want, play it for a long time, uh, they had the recording setups all there, and they basically just let us go to town on their game. They had a couple restrictions about what we could and couldn't do, and I managed to break one of them. Um, <laughs> I managed to get out of the area that they were trying to show off. Ah, now I got my vehicle link. I managed to get out of the acceptable area that I was supposed to be checking out for the game. And it's not like I was, you know, uh, doing sketchy things to the game. I just... I went to the world map and chose a different city. And they didn't say, don't choose different cities. They just said, they, they didn't say anything. <laughs> so it was like, uh, I just kind of explored and I managed to break the game. Like, what the fuck is happening? Um, and this other area actually had a very interesting dialogue choice where you could choose whether, uh, it seemed like another team member uh, stays or leaves, but they said don't show any video of that so basically all I can do is say well it happened and there are important dialogue choices in the game um but okay so there is these two or three dudes that seem to be really really good friends oh shit <laughs> I also want to say this so I met like you know there's like 10 channels there I met I introduced myself to all these guys a lot of these youtubers are fucking awkward nerdy dudes it's okay I understand it uh but just, there were so many of them, like, they, they just couldn't even, like, 
shake my hand and introduce themselves and like talk to me face to face enough where I could understand what the fuck their channel name was. And I was just thinking like, <laughs> you know, how how would uh, Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago, introduce himself? Hey, Abe Froman, Sausage King of Chicago, nice to meet you. Kind of, kind of shit like that. Like, get that down in your life. If you run your own business and you're introducing yourself a lot, like, get that shit down. It sounds cheesy to practice how you introduce yourself to people, but it was fucking frustrating. I was like, asking them to repeat themselves in a quiet area. Maybe they just hadn't, hadn't had enough coffee yet. But there's like numerous people that I met that I was like, I have no idea what the fuck your name is, what you do, anything. And I was, I was just like, oh, fuck, I can't, I can't deal with this. So, and like saying wiki game guides, it's a tough enough name. And I know I have to repeat that a lot because it's not an intuitive name, you know, whereas like uh, Kutra or Sandy Ravage could just say, oh, uh, I go by the name, whatever. Wiki game guides is a tough name to understand if you haven't seen it before. Which, whatever, I have no problem with. I've grown to understand that, which is why I kind of realized I've actually gotten pretty good at saying my own name, which is a weird thing to think you're good at. But it's actually like, you know, if, you, if you're not used to introducing yourself to a lot of strangers, it's fucking weird. Um, anyway, so there's these three, two or three German dudes um, that were pretty good friends. And, you know, EA spent a lot of money flying us out there. I don't know where they live. I don't know if they flew across the ocean to come out to this event. I knew, I know that I only had to fly from Denver to LA, which is maybe a five, six hundred dollar round trip flight for Ununited for like a last minute booking like that. I mean, this event came up less than a week ago. So, I mean, last minute prices for all this stuff and a hotel for one night. So they, you know, EA probably spent a grand to get me out there. Um, and it's like, I'm sure these other guys, you know, if they're even further away, EA is dropping a lot of money to get them out to this event. And, you know, it's a very, it's it's huge for our channels, too, to be out at this event. Like, it's a huge privilege to get invited to something like this and be trusted to see their game ahead of time, to make videos of their game ahead of time. It's a, At that point, it's like, you're not just playing games for fun anymore. You're playing games as part of an enormous business, as part of a giant ecosystem of the video game industry, right? Like they're spending a lot of money on essentially advertising their games on our channel. And uh, some of us get paid to go on these trips too. Uh, I know that when I went out to see uh, Splinter Cell last year, I didn't get paid for that, but a lot of the other very big channels, uh, one, I think it was Dutch guy was telling me that he has a contract to just go see games all the time and that basically he, he's getting paid to go to events like that. I don't, I don't know what the deal was with some of the other channels that were at this event, but I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of these guys were paid to be there. Um, so anyway, back to my original point. These guys were fucking around the entire time and like fucking with the guy that were holding that, that, that was like the concierge, or not the concierge, that's a shitty way of putting it, but like the guy who was, who invited us to this thing, who brought us out to this event, who invited us to this event, who was organizing the event, and they were just fucking with them by like not playing the game that they were invited out there to see. Uh, they were, so we, we were playing the PC version of the game, and they were like alt tabbing out and like trying to break the game and just like screwing with them, trying to glitch the game and showing all this shit that they weren't supposed to be doing in the game. And like they, they, they don't ask you to do a ton of things or to not show a ton of things at, at this event. It's like, it's not like they're saying, oh, don't say bad things about the game. No, they're, all, all they're saying is don't show, uh, like there, there was a list of maybe three or four I think three different names of characters that we weren't supposed to talk about in the game because they're going to roll that out because it's going to be part of the trailers that they're going to be releasing for the next couple... Uh, where is this checkpoint taking me? Because um, like the names of these villains are going to be released in trailers over the next couple weeks as it leads up to the game. Completely understandable, right? They have a schedule for... like they've. They've been planning the release of this game for a long time, and they don't want these 10 YouTubers fucking with the thing that they've been working on for years. 
But these kids are just like not taking the shit seriously at all and just fucking with them. And the guy who's, you know, organizing the whole event was just talking to them like children, like disciplining them, saying like, no, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Get back to work. No, play the game. Make sure that the clips you're posting don't have these names in there. No, you need to do this. No, you need to do that. Like a preschool teacher telling these fucking children, get your shit together. But this is a job at this point, right? This isn't like, this isn't uh, just playing games for fun anymore. This is like a, this is a business. That, that, that's, why I, that's why I was so adamant earlier about like, please watch my videos that I'm posting of Dragon Age Inquisition because it's so important to me that I get invited to another event like that for the next big EA game, which is uh, Battlefield Hardline. I want to go to their next event because they have events like this for every single game that comes out these days. I don't get to go to them that often. I want to go to them. And I want to be professional and like show them that I can do a good fucking job if they invite me to things like that. Whereas these guys were just like completely fucking around and it completely blew my mind. The sad thing is the videos that they post, and I wish I knew their channel names, they, uh, they just didn't fucking care. They could not have cared less. And I'm sure their videos are gonna get more than mine too or their videos are gonna get more views than mine as well, if they even post videos for the game. Like, I, it was completely, completely mind-blowing that just how these guys were acting during this event. It was, I, I was flabbergasted. Like, they, they gave us these nice sound-canceling headphones to play the game so we can kind of like tune out all the noise around us. But at some point, I just started to hear this commotion over my shoulder, and I had to do the kind of half-ear cover with my right headphone just to, just to, so, so I could hear and like eavesdrop on the conversations that were going on. And I was just like laughing hysterically to myself at like how ridiculous it was what was going on. Like, and how, you know, in a way I was like, oh, and at some point too, they went over, uh, so it's this EA office and they had like posters for FIFA up and like, you know, not like platinum trophies, but like, uh, you know, framed things for old FIFA games and Titanfall and Battlefield. I think that was part, like part of that office there was working on Battlefield Hardline. And these guys, like they have, like we're guests in their highly secretive office, right? We're guests. We had to get checked in at security at the front door. They have a lot of proprietary information that we could essentially steal, right? Or information that they don't want coming out yet. And they were just wandering around the offices, walking to, into the offices of the battlefield offices, like not, You're in the lead. not staying in the area that, like, it was, it, I, I'm still completely blown away by how childish those guys were acting. Like, I, and if I was the guy in charge of that event, I would invite them to the next thing. They clearly can't be taken seriously. Oh my God. Oh, he was above. Wow. I don't... I'm playing like shit. Whoa! Good sp... Oh, I got revived. Wow. How about don't revive teammates when you're in the middle of combat like that? that was... <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why is this guy... Hmm. Okay. Be more tactical about when you revive teammates. I think there's a guy above us, actually. Anyway, so I got to play a bunch of Dragon Age Inquisition. I really enjoyed it. It had some good parts, it had some bad parts. I've talked about it a lot in the other videos. I mean, it's always fun to play a game well before it comes out, whether it's at a something like PAX or, uh, or E3 or something like that. But at conventions like that, at most you get an hour. At most you get an hour to play a game. And that's if you're very lucky. Um, at, you know, at E3, Maybe you get to watch someone, oh shit. Maybe you get to watch someone else play it for 20 minutes at the most. Oh, dang it. But, Jesus, I'm playing terrible. I'm rusty as shit, all this Dragon Age talk. I've forgotten how to play Destiny. Um, so yeah, so getting to play it for maybe six hours or more was ridiculously awesome. Uh, and you, you really get, I mean, you're still under a time crunch. Like. 
I didn't really listen to any of the cut. Or, no, I, I listened to the cutscenes, but I didn't like read the extra dialogue or anything like that. I didn't really dig into the, the loot system. Like as, as soon as I realized that the crafting stuff wasn't in the section of the game I was in, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna skip picking up every single item because there's only X amount of hours I have to do this. And did I not get that headshot? Oh man. Uh, so I was just like, all right, you, you have to kind of focus. You have to kind of streamline this shit if you want to find the one dragon that's on the map that I was that we were playing. Um, and I did manage to find the dragon, and I managed to get absolutely smoked by the dragon. Heavy oh ammo. yes, heavy ammo. I wonder if the other team's smart enough to get it. They are not smart enough to get it, at least as quickly as I was. I wonder if I can get it. Where is the other team? Oh, they are near me. Where the fuck are they? Oh, they did get the heavy ammo. This is bad news, because I always manage to fuck this up. I need to be very, very quiet. Did I just get stuck by a fucking grenade? Jesus, that was a good grenade. Wow. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Um, damn, these guys are good. I guess it's a good thing I'm going to go into the Iron Banner later on and totally redeem myself. Oh. Wow, we're winning by quite a bit, no thanks to me. Mm-mm. Where are these guys? Oh man, I got my golden gun. Why am I not using that? Oh, did they run away as soon as they heard my golden gun? You motherfuckers. Come on, number three. Nope, didn't see him. Um, so anyway, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, it's... The good, the voice acting is excellent. Uh, it's got a great story. The little bit of it that I saw, the, I, I didn't see a ton of cutscenes or a ton of like main quest storyline stuff in the little bit that I played. Uh, the side, there's a ton of side quests, a lot more side quest stuff than I was expecting. Ah, oh, god dang it! Um, and a lot of kind, like it, the, the side quest stuff felt very organic. Like it wasn't, you know. A lot of times there'll be a side quest where, oh, you talk to this one guy and he says, go collect 10 chickens, and then you go collect 10 chickens and you're bored and you're done. Um, but this felt more like exploring, finding awesome kind of like side mansions to explore with a whole extra storyline on top of it. Did I just melee a knifer? <gasps> I just fucking meleeed a blade dancer. Holy shit. That was incredible. At least I'm pretty sure he was a blade dancer. That tripmine grenade certainly helped. Oh, come on. Come on back. Come on back. Where'd you go? Oh, dang it. Oh, boy. Wow, that thing is chasing me like crazy. Die, bitch. Ah, and then he came around. Um... The platforming was pretty clunky. I didn't really see why that was in the game. Um, they could have easily left that out. I mean, it's nice. It, it adds an extra level of depth, I guess, to exploring the world. But it just it didn't really feel like like Destiny, I guess, or Halo, or ooh, shit, good, good fucking shot. It didn't really feel like, you know, it wasn't fun to jump around. It was more frustrating to jump around. Entropy, no! Oh, you got... Whoa! Saved your ass. Um, lots of side quest stuff. The loot system... It, I got a ton of loot. What the fuck are you shooting at? I got a ton of loot, but... Rarely did I find stuff that was better than what I had. I'm hoping that the crafting system will fix that a little bit. So that I can actually find more interesting stuff. Oh, that was a knife kill. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, the but I didn't get to do the looting. 
uh, or the, the, the looting, the crafting, uh, the, and, and there's no co I, I didn't get to try the co-op either, which is kind of a disappointment. Come on. Oh. Oh. He out-sniped me. Oh, did I just loop around these dudes and get the height advantage? Amazing. Oh, dang it, there's two guys down there. What a waste of a golden gun. Oh, my teammate couldn't do anything either. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I think we're going to win, despite my thumbs being cold. <clears throat> um, But... I guess the the overall thing to take away is that I really enjoyed playing playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and I'm really looking forward to the full thing. Uh, what it sounds like the co-op stuff is completely. Oh, this guy just popped a golden gun. Um, the co-op stuff is completely separate from the main. Uh, he didn't walk over my trip mine. What the fuck? How did that not? How did he not get hit by that at all? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Um, wow, uh, so the, the co-op stuff is apparently like completely separate side quest stuff, similar to how Assassin's Creed is going to be doing their co-op missions, their four-player co-op missions, where it doesn't really affect your main storyline. Now, they wouldn't give any details on whether or not there were going to be some items that came through, or, you know, what parts would translate between single and multi, uh, or co-op and multiplayer, but... It certainly didn't sound like there was going to be much interaction between the two different systems. Oh, come on. Should I revive him for points? Sure, why not? Are you just dying intentionally now? Dude, you've lost that fight how many times? I'm not going to go out there and fight. He's got a huge height advantage. I'm going to get heavy ammo. For the last 15 points. I could just kill myself Heavy ammo <laughs> for the last kill as well. Let them revive me. Let's, let's just do that. That's a shit-ass strategy to win the game. Oh, did I really miss that jump? Uh-oh. Yeah. Targets for the win. Final kill. Goddamn. Nice Alright, let's do one Iron Banner match. See what that's like. See if I'm going to get really frustrated that I don't have enough helium or whatever craftable item I need to fully upgrade my my uh, hard light auto rifle. Ugh, 12 and 11. I went positive. That's okay. Ooh, a strange coin. I'm, I'm the only one that went positive on my team. The hell? I won that game for us. Ugh. Hmm. I guess they don't really... Do they tell you how many points you earned for the team at the end of it? Yeah, they do. I was in second place on my team. Post-game carnage. Uh, score. Oh, yeah, so this guy must have had a lot of revives. They don't tell you how many revives you get. But we had the same amount of kills. Oh, he had assists. There we go. John Stockton. Passing the rock. Iron Banner. So what else? Yeah, I just got in so late. Didn't get to CLA. Basically went straight to the hotel bar, ordered dinner. Um, the studios, the, stu the EA studios, I mean, it's just, it's a giant, uh, I mean, if you've seen any giant tech company office look just like that, lots of cubicles with, you know, three, four monitor setups, huge PCs just burning through everything. Um, or, you know, rendering their their updates so quickly. Uh, it seemed very quiet, though. I don't know if they, like, closed down part of the office for us so that we could, you know, kind of work in peace or they just told some people to take the day off. Or I, I don't think the L.A. studio is where they're actually making that game, Dragon Age Inquisition. I think I think that's being made up in Vancouver. Um, Vancouver. Up in Canada, eh? I'm from Canada, and they say I'm slow, eh? 
<laughs> I've got mittens pit pinned to my sweater all year round. I would have loved to have gone to Canada, though. No, it, the, the office just seemed very quiet. I don't know why. Maybe they were just taking a Monday off. I, I don't know. Like all, There was like three or four major quadrants to the office, and they, none of them were bustling with activity. All right, Fault of Glass. Not a... I wonder if I can get a headshot kill with a sniper. Like, the base level sniper versus the most heavily armored level 30 guy. I guess we'll find out. This is gonna... I know I'm gonna get really frustrated trying to kill people because my weapons aren't gonna do the damage that I expect them to. Did this lock up? What the fuck is happening? Here we go. Never seen it take so long to load. That was strange. Ooh, this is a fun map. I like this map. Control. Alpha team. Capture and defend, Guardians. All right. That was control. Oh, they said it was objective type, objective game types, but there's only one objective style or objective game type in this game so far, right? I guess is team deathmatch an objective based game type? Can that be thrown into this mix? Uh-oh. Surreal's regime, that was not a hit. Oh, there's a second guy right there. Wow, these guys are like crouching around and shit. This really in the game? This might be some good competition. Schnikes. All right, let's get A. I'm gonna have a good chance to see how uh, how effective my guns are against people with weapon scaling or without you know, balancing, level balancing. Enemy captured zone C. You captured zone A. Whoa, these guys are really, really sticking together and doing a really good job of it, too. Wow, there's three of them together. Uh, they're about to dominate us. Unless we capture B real quick. Maybe I should hold the line right yeah, and try to snipe them as they come through. Yeah. Zone a lost. Zone B we throw a mine on the wall in preparation. Enemy captured zone a. Are they not coming down this hallway? No, oh, I blew my chance. What? Oh, except I was scoped in the whole time, so I didn't see the guy running behind the guy in last place. <gasps> Hodor's true son? That's a great gamer tag. Hodor's true son has to be named Hodor, right? Hodor Jr.? I mean, what else would he name him? The only thing he can say is Hodor, so his name has to be Hodor. Jesus Christ, I'm playing like poo right now. Oh my god. Wow, what is happening? Did they add like skill-based matchmaking in this game and I'm just up against the best people in the game right now? Well, I'm talking about these people are that good, I'm just playing like poo. I'm used to much lower level of competition. Whoa. God damn it. Oh, I, w I thought I was far enough away from that. I got killed by a fucking grenade. A grenade I could have walked away from as well. Maybe I can snipe someone. Nope. Okay, I think I'm doing less damage than normal. At least it's starting to feel that way. That was the first time I felt like in a normal game I would have got that kill a lot faster. So maybe I need to switch to my shoddy. My exotic shoddy. Zone B lost. Hmm. Zone B. Yeah, I gotta put a lot more bullets into these dudes. Oh god. Man, I just got smoked right there. Man, I'm doing terrible right now. Good god. So much for epic comebacks. Like the last free-for-all match I posted. 
I need to cut that and do a separate video and do post game analysis on it. Enemy captured zone C. You I still haven't figured out if a headshot gets a kill. Zone well, oh, you look at that bubble C. just saved his fucking life. Ah, well, it looks like two body shots will kill him with the sniper. Maybe one headshot will as well, I don't know. Oh, look at the fucking lag on that kill. I I shot him twice because the first one didn't fucking register. Maybe it's just laggy as shit right now. Maybe I can blame all my problems on lag. Hmm. Oh, yep, headshots get you kills. Oh, two headshot kills in a row. All right, I'm back in it. Zone A neutralized. Okay, now I'm starting to get my shit together. How many times can I say I'm starting to get my shit together and then die? Quickly. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> that scorched body just came flying through. I do not want to stick my head out around the corner. Oh, that was such a dirty headshot. Not that time, though. Zone B neutralized. Is he not playing? Oh, he's not playing. Now he's getting killed. I was going to push him off the map. But I couldn't even do that. No, oh, that one's going to kill me. Dang it, I couldn't even push my own teammate off the map. I didn't... Mm, see, I know I would have got a kill there if this was normal. Uh, I don't... I don't see enough of a difference in this versus uh, normal Crucible to really make this interesting. I was hoping that this would be a lot more fun than it really is, but I don't... Like, I don't feel the power of my leveled up weapons because everyone else is level 27 plus, you know? Dang it. Like, I don't... Hmm. Unless there's a, unless there's more than that one legendary gun to get from Maybe ranking up in the Crucible way. or the Iron Banner playlist, I don't really understand what the point of this shit is. Oh, come on. Quit running away. I want to kill. I got a kill. That's good. Dude, if I'm in second place on my team... Bad news bears. Good lord, that guy lit me up. What gun was that? Jack Mihoff is using the Hexcaster Arc. Look at the rate of fire on that thing. Maybe using something with a higher rate of fire is better. I got my doctor. Nope. Oh, I guess I should have looked at, instead of just the rate of fire, what kind of damage that actually did. Oh, shit. I'm going to do that in a second. As soon as I die. Ooh, or get supered. Jack Mihoff had it fully upgraded. Okay, so maybe I need to focus on more. Plan C. Um, maybe I need to just focus on upgrading my guns a little bit more. Because this these things aren't fully upgraded. I wonder if like a fully upgraded sniper will kill with body shots. Why did I accidentally press that there? Hmm, that's interesting. Fully upgraded snipers getting body shot kills. Uprising, that's a frustrating metal to get. Where am I getting shot from? Behind. This is a shit way to end this video. Zone B lost. Zone C secure. Enemy captured zone B. And that's basically the end of the match. Ooh, let's get one more sniper headshot. Assists. Okay.
Bueller, anybody? Come on. Come on. Oh, no, that's it. Well, well that's a, oh, you have to turn back from that spot? Boo. Ah, oh, my game's going crazy. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, again, please check out my Dragon Age Inquisition videos. Watch them all the way through. Give me some feedback. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me and the growth of this channel and the growth of me as a human. <laughs> uh, if those do well. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Daily Destiny. Game on.